character who loves his eggs. His eggs are like, I hit you with an egg, I know every confirm off of egg, you're getting clapped. But in this yeah. situation, I think Suarez being more confrontational actually does not work in his favor. Well, I think the other part of it is that, like, you know, Suarez loves using that neutral beam. <laughs> Speak yeah. of the devil. Um, those sorts of ways to condition shield. But it requires a certain amount of engagement, yeah. you know, of, like, basically approaching Sinji from the air, trying to get past the hydrant. It, I, it just ends up being very difficult for... Uh, for Suarez to really open Sinji up. Oh, right as I say that, he opens him up with a nice big combo. Juicy doing about 40%. <laughs> it actually uh, extended the, the hitbox on a down smash, so he got hit, clipped on the other side of it by a like, late hit. I actually, I, I wonder if that was... Because I don't know if the if it's like the a two-way move. No, no. If, if it's a move that goes both ways, I don't know if it extends the hitbox on in both directions. I think it does. I think it's just a time thing. I think it makes the move linger longer. Well, no. I think that extending the hitbox is a little bit... Anyway, all right. Moving on from <laughs> it because I'm not 100% sure and I'm not going to talk yeah, to any authority. Right, right, right. Regardless, it seems that right now we have a very even game here. Slight favor for Suarez. But here's another thing. Oh! oh. What's the mix? He knew he wasn't going to be able to kill him off of that bell, so yeah. instead tries to go for the most damage he can. While especially, also if, especially if bell's still in hand, you want to keep it fresh uh, for that F smash. So you don't want to send the F smash too early. Yeah, smash. smash. Take it. Uh, it's the sort of thing where this is where you see how Sinji is like. He's out 30 seconds into the future yeah. already. He could have gone for that big meaty punish, you know, to just get as much off of the first bell as he could. But no, he's like, no, I'm going to get little bits of damage, but importantly, I'm going to maintain the bell yeah. because then I can get the actual kill with I'm it. I'm also going to hold the bell just to make sure that I know that I'm now limiting your options. You're not going to approach me in this way because you're trying to avoid the bell. Exactly. It shows just a, oh man. And here's where things just get so difficult. You know, once Suarez really does feel pressure to approach, once he, you know, the, you see in his eyes he needs to make something happen. And that's exactly when Sinji just plays to those, uh, what I would honestly call a weakness, as much as he can. It's like really good spacing on Sinji's too, because like every time you hydrant above Yoshi, you know that the hydrant's gonna extend the hitbox of whatever he's throwing out. So it's it's if he does it too low, he's gonna land on the upper. That's gonna take it real fast. Wow, the call out of that forward smash. We actually saw Suarez go for I think it was a short hop forward air, but that's the, uh, the F smash able to actually hit him. What's happening out I, there? Yeah, that's the Suarez special. The Suarez special is why is Yoshi all the way out here? Why am I dead? I mean, Sinji was able to make it back. It was right after that that he ended up dead, yeah. which is also another thing to mention and why I think this match was kind of difficult for Suarez. Uh, Suarez, he loves to, you know, he's one of the best le Yoshis at ledge trapping, I'd say. The way that he's able to both get kills and damage off of the opponent being at the ledge is really commendable. Uh, but Pac-Man in general has Pac one has of the options off ledge, man. Not only options off ledge, but he just has one of the best disadvantage states in the game. I was once talking with Miles where we were like trying to say, like, oh, who has a better disadvantage state than Yoshi? And we're like, Pac-Man's up there. Like Pac-Man, the way that he just gets out of bad situations means if you're not doing these crazy links one hit into the next, then uh he's just gonna get away. Yeah. Wow, going for grab to counter the approach. Sinji's not even he's not even going for like the same way of walling him out over and over again. No, he's like mixing up oh. how he's just stuffing him. You see the double air dodge because of the fair of the bell in hand? Ah, it's not gonna take it. It didn't matter how many yeah, times he, you air he, dodge. He, he, he jumped into an air dodge backwards twice. He's like, I'm gonna bait this bell. I'm gonna bait this bell. Why does he still have the bell in his hand? Yeah. Uh hey Couriers, uh Couriers, um how nice try. <laughs> <laughs> good, uh, <laughs> good hustle out there. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, uh, you didn't give up, and you got there eventually. I have a really fun. Uh, we play words with friends a lot. And one time, a friend couldn't spell sausage uh, the right time, and he did it three times wrong. And then it's like Saros has left the chat. <laughs> 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 he knew the word. He just did not have to spell it. All right, into game two. Into game two. 
Yep, here. Oh, here it comes. This is where things can actually be... I feel like that the tone will be set. You know, if Suarez is able to open up Sinji with a really big combo and able to maybe turn that into even more advantage, that could show a sort of a changing of tides. That's kind of what we're seeing at the moment as Sinji already knocked 92%. But the question is now, how is Stealing Suarez... The yeah, exactly. The, I think the that's the biggest thing. The game. I, I think... I think uh, whatever the odds of this matchup game of these two players playing is, I think it tremendously changes based on if Suarez gets the first stock or not. Oh, yeah. I mean, part of that is also just Sinji with a lead is able yeah. to do so many just horrifying things. Yeah, it's the Pac-Man snake thing where it's like, oh, if I have a lead, I'm going to stay over here. It's something like that. It's like once you they have the lead and they know you have to approach and they can just play as comfortably as they want to and, you know, things just over time become more and more linear as you try to make a comeback happen. I mean, and just like that, it's tied up again. As far as really needs to seal this out. Yeah. Oh, man. You notice the way he angled that side B? Made sure to keep himself just low enough that... Suarez couldn't punish. Suarez didn't even need to, though. Instead, yeah. he went for Back the, uh, yeah, just found the on-stage punish. And here's where things are. Also, you know, we were saying how, oh, Pac-Man with the lead. But also, if Pac-Man is behind, sometimes it can be really difficult for him to make up the difference, especially against a heavier character like Yoshi. Never mind. He fell off stage with the down airs. <laughs> I love I love that uh that angle that the hydrant gets sent when you hit him with the forward air. With the sweet spot forward air, it kinda just bounces in place at ledge, made it real hard for Sinji to get out there without taking damage. Oh man. I like these down fees on the egg purely because ooh, they add to, they can do so much damage. Because I believe the rising hit, the falling hit, and both stars will connect onto the egg for uh, like a solid chunk of damage. Oh, that's going to be huge. Big damage, big damage. Yeah, but with that stage positioning, not actually enough to take the stock. I think he, I think he's comfortable enough to get his, like, reset up. Like, yes, he spent Bell, but then he gets it back again without, uh, because of where he's standing on stage. So even though he doesn't seal out the kill, it's fine for him. He likes the position that he gets to stay in. Oh, How did he manage to find that? I he thought he was going to Z-drop it, to be honest. I thought it was going to be the same situation, except Z-drop instead of throwing it. I mean, <laughs> Sinji, whenever he goes for an option, it's because that was the optimal option. Yep. The guy spent so much time in the lab, so much time theory crafting, that there is no... I, I guess he does... There is some improvisation to the way he plays, but it is mostly very calculated. Yeah, yeah, he's like... He's not running by the seat of his pants at any instance. No. Ooh. This could be really big. Sinji trapping. What? what? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> curious that he went for those uh, two up tilts. I guess he thought the first one, the second one would break it. But anyway, this is the sort of thing where if you're Sinji, you are. Think about this. You're trying to get more damage. You can go for grabs. You can go for Galaxian. If you're Suarez, though, you need to get the kill. You need to be looking for back air, for a smash attack of some kind. Up air, your options are so much more predictable, so much more linear. And that's the sort of thing that Sinji is abusing, and it's why he hasn't even been touched in the last 30 seconds. He knows what he has to avoid. He knows you're not going to do very much else because you are pressured to take the stock here. He uh, double jump armor through the bell. A double jump armor will almost always go through the bell. It's very consistent at doing that. Uh, also, little tiny things here and there. Like the way that Sinji uh, like, will charge the bell and then cancel it into a grab. The amount of grabs that Sinji has been getting on this last stock, knowing that since it is his last stock, Suarez a lot more scared, realizing that the room for error is shrinking and shrinking. And that's the sort of thing where Sinji will still manage to abuse that fear. Oh, that was big! The Hydrant, I think, helping out Sinji keeps him from actually dying to that down B, and that means that no armor. Okay. No, I'll take that situation, too. I, I think that was completely intentional. Like, you know that Sinji was, like, prepared and ready to punish the, the, the low landing, and instead he opted to take the hit on the melon, uh, unironically his head, but yeah. Uh, 
and armor through it and be in a situation not punishable. Hydra yeah. from, the, from the apple going to take it. Too much pressure. Too many things being thrown at him. And in the end, it all comes crashing down.